Now, sir, ln of mm. minus a into 0 plus 1, mm. and r1 to take value of 1 in equation 1, and of i. Mm. ln r minus kt plus ln r. Done. Done. Understood. Recording and Understood. Now see, what I am putting here, what I can do here, this term I am rearranging. Total term I am rearranging. So if I will take kt this side, kt I am taking. So minus become plus. And here is ln r naught. This term is there ln r naught. Minus it is ln r. This is this term. Do you know what is the ln a minus ln b what is the term what the rule ln a minus ln b any idea about this hello ln a minus ln b log a minus log b equal to log a by b it equal to log a by b uh, but you are taking too much time to reply sir, I, three times sir it gave i don't know what happened okay no problem so here what will be that ln r not ln r not upon what will be there r yes yeah no yes sir. is it okay yes sir so if i will write here can you tell me, Sanoe, that is the ln is equal to 2.303 log. If you are conversion factor for ln to log, it is the conversion factor is 2.303. So here are what I am writing, kt is equal to 2.303. Okay. And it will convert log. This is the R naught upon R. R naught upon R. Check. Yes, so if I will calculate K, so K is equal to 2.303 upon T, this will be log R naught upon R. This is the final equation for integral. This is, this is, what is? This is integrated equation, integrated equation, integrated equation for first order reaction for first order reaction first order reaction You can ask anywhere, I will explain you again, if any doubt is there. That is why I am going through this one, sir. If any doubt arises, I will look into ah, this. Okay, no problem. So I think here it should be R naught. Ah, here will be R naught. This one, yes. This is integral equation four. Done. Yes, sir. Done. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You can match this with the uh, here in the book also. This is the NCRT book. This uh, we derived here. Uh, this is the equation you can find out here. Uh, not this is. Wait. This equation we derived here. Getting? Correct now? Yes, yeah, no? Yes, sir. 
am i audible sir yeah audible very friendly now we have to understand the graph this is the two graph are there that is we have to understand both the cases you need to understand the graph between the ln r and t one and second one is log r not by r upon time this two graph we have to understand because in the cbsc exam they ask so graph we are going to plot okay so let us try to understand how can you draw the graph between two things we have to draw the graph according to book if you see graph between this is the ncert which page number graph between ncert page number uh, which is the page number 106 old book okay. graph between ln r not this is ln not r not versus time this you can see graph between which one the first one ln r not ln r not ln r versus time this one okay now which equation can be helpful to uh, do this graph ln r not versus time which equation can we use so we have to correlate with y is equal to mx plus c this so now find out the values where we can correlate this one ln r not versus time can we correlate can we put this one this equation y is equal to mx plus c can we use this equation for ln not r not x y axis ln r x axis time and slope will be negative can't you understand this? This is so I'm getting this is understanding. time and here is the ln r. This is ln r, this side going and inter see the slope is negative. This is slope is equal to slope is equal to minus k. And this one is giving information about intercept. This is the value of I, C value. Now you can check back here. K is equal to minus. This line is intercept. This is ln R time. And on the top, here will be the concentration is initial concentration. So initial concentration is ln R not. This peak point is the full concentration of reactant, then reactant is going to decrease. So slope is minus this one. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I erase? Yes, sir. Now next one is log R naught by R versus T. Another graph we have to understand. Log R naught by R versus T. So a uh, graph between here, I'm erasing this one here, log, log R not versus Y R versus T, this graph, which equation, equation can you use log one? So if I will use this one, not possible, then uh, uh, this one we can use y is equal to mx plus c where it can be related versus t so y uh, see this equation we are using this one keep in mind na keep in log r naught but y r is equal to what is there k t it will go this all the k t upon 2.303 so this is y is equal to m x plus c now we are correlating this one carefully very silently you see this this time is going to be x axis and k by 2.303 will be slope c is intercept so slope will be positive or negative Slope will be positive. Sir. Slope will be positive. So this is log R naught upon R. And here is time T. 
slope is, is positive, intercept is nothing is there, no intercept is there, means it's starting from zero. So this is slope is equal to, slope is equal to k upon 2.303. Slope is equal to k upon 2.303. Understood. Understood. Okay. Now go back here. Question number 4.5. This is example. The initial concentration of N2O5 in the following first order reaction watch what is there this one they are saying mole per liter so i am writing n2o5 this is the initial concentration is equal to 1.24 into 10 power minus 2 mole per liter the concentration of n2o5 after 60 minute okay so after 60 minute they are talking about n2o5 Okay, at time t. So how much they are talking about 0 0.20 into 10 power minus 2. This is the mole per liter. Calculate the rate constant of the reaction. They are asking what they are asking, rate constant k. Okay, so what the equation we can use, Sanoi? Here you see, k is equal to 2.303 upon t log, what is there? That is the initial concentration that is R0 upon final concentration R. So here what will be there 2.303 when they are saying that is after 60 minutes means final time. If you are changing time, if you are talking about, so initial is 0 and final is 60. So you can write here the T2 minus T1 also you can write change in time interval. Otherwise, if you are not giving so simple final time you can write. So 60 minute minus 0 minute is equal to this is uh, that is log R naught value here they have given 1.24 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 0 0.20 into 10 power minus 2. Okay, so here 2.303 upon 60. This is the log power power cancel out. So what will be there? 124 upon 20. Okay, 124 upon 20. Again, you can divide this one. Two, uh, it can be divided by the uh, 2 to 6 to 62 upon 10. 62 upon 10 means 6.2 will come. This will give 6.2. Now, what we have to do, 2.303 upon 60 log, this is the 6.2. Of log 6.2 value, we have to see in the book. Otherwise, it will be given in the, uh, that is what is called in the paper, question paper itself, it is given the log value. I am checking the log value. log 6.2 so it is coming 2.303 upon 60 into 0 0.7923 if you solve this one 0 0.0304 this is going to be minute inverse so what is the check
हेलो योर म्यूटेड यू आर म्यूटेड अंडरस्टूड द क्वेश्चन यस कैन आई इरेज यस नेटवर्क यू इंप्रूव यार ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द हाफ लाइफ व्हाट इज द हाफ लाइफ सनो व्हाट इज द हाफ लाइफ द टाइम पीरियड व्हेन द रिएक्ट कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट बिकम हाफ द हाफ लाइफ ऑफ रिएक्शन इज द टाइम इन व्हिच द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ रिएक्टेंट इज रिड्यूस्ड टू वन हाफ ऑफ इट्स इनिशियल कंसंट्रेशन इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय टी हाफ so what is the half life period half life period of any reaction is the time period when concentration of reactant become half of its initial concentration half of its initial concentration so first one i am taking that is half life period of zero order reaction half life period of zero order reaction period of zero order reaction zero order reaction If you understand zero order reaction, it was the K is equal to this is R not minus R upon what is there T. This was there. Now what they are saying, according to definition, if you go according to definition, according to definition. So if you are definition, you are talking about half life, half life. So during the half life, T is equal to at the place of t we have to put that is t half then if time is half then r is equal to it is going to be r not by 2 what the term here you see, you see the half life half life means t 1 by 2 of a reaction is the time if the time is t so t is becoming to t half in which the concentration of reactant is reduced to half of its initial concentration what is initial concentration initial concentration is r not and this is reduced to one half one half means by 2 so if you define this one total so when the t is equal to t half so r is equal to r not so from equation 1 from equation 1 okay so what we can write t is equal to T one by two is equal to. Let let me write once more. T is equal to. We can write R not minus R by K. So what will be there? R not value. R not will be as it is. R not value will be as it is. R R value is equal to R not by two total divided by K. okay so this will be wait 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 directly we cannot write here here writing next line required na at the place of t this will be t half is equal to r not as with as it is minus at the place of r it will be the r not by 2 total divided by k so you can write this one again T one by two is equal to R not minus R by two. How much it is going to be there, sir? This is the R not. If you solve this one, so what will be there? LCM I am taking two R not upon R not divided by two K. So T one by two is equal to 
आर नॉट अपॉन टू के दिस इज फाइनल इक्वेशन हे भगवान सो टी वन बाई टू इज इक्वल टू आर नॉट अपॉन टू के So one thing that after half life t equal to t one by two and r equal to r one by two after the difference is so. So I explain again. Sir, I got disconnected. Is it okay? Up to here, you see. Sir, sir, up to this one it is okay. Sir, after this. Ah, so this is the this is the equation, na. This is the zero order equation. जीरो ऑर्डर इक्वेशन जीरो दिस इज द जीरो ऑर्डर इक्वेशन इंटीग्रेटेड 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 यू यू सी इंटीग्रेटेड के इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज देयर आर नॉट माइनस आर बाई टी सो टी गॉन हियर सो के कम हियर सो दिस इक्वेशन इज इट ओके नाउ सी so at the place of what we are going t at the place of t we are putting t half r r not because initial concentration will be half then what is from equation 1 you see from equation 1 what you can do so at the place of t we are putting t half at the place of r we are putting r not by 2 then i took the lcm 2 so after taking lcm 2 It become two R not minus R not by two K. So answer is coming T is equal to two. Can't you understand this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here you can see in the book also. Let me show. Let me show you. See this one. R not by two K. T half is equal to R not by two K. Now. Half life period of half life period of first order reaction. First order reaction. Half life period of first order. So first order reaction. What is the equation? K is equal to two point. This is. Hmm. Two point three zero three upon T log. What is there? R not by R. This was the equation that already you derived. So if you are writing T is equal to 2.303 upon T log, this is the R not by R. This is there now. What is there at half life? At half life. So if you half life T is equal to, it becomes the T one by two, and that is uh, R is equal to. Uh, R is equal to R not by two, so this is equation number one. Ah, uh, yeah, audible. Tell me. Here, here, here. Here, then you should write K here, otherwise it should be like this. Ah, uh, now okay. Ah, uh, so at the place of T, I am putting T one by two is equal to two point three zero three upon K. This is the log R not value. R not is as it is. This is the R not. There is nothing is change. R not R value is going to change. R value is R not by two. Okay. Now solve. So T one by two is equal to two point three zero three upon K. This is the log. This will be the reciprocal going on the numerator. Two R not by R not. This is there. So this R not R not cancel out. So t one by two is equal to two point three zero three upon k. This is the log two. So t one by two is equal to two point three zero three upon k. Log two value is zero point three zero one zero. If you solve this one, t one by two is equal to zero point six nine three upon k. This is the equation. 
Kundam. Done. Yes. Understood. Yes. Sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Here question they have given. The re the first order reaction found to be rate constant K. Find the half life of the reaction. This is example 4.7. So half K they have given. K is equal to 5.5 .5 into 10 power minus 14 second inverse. They are asking T1 by 2. So T1 by 2 0 0.693 upon what is their K. So it will be 0 0.693. K value is what is 5.5 .5 into 10 power minus 14 second inverse. So second inverse will go in the numerator. So it will be 0 0.693 upon 5.5 .5 multiplied by 10 power 14 second. Now you divide this one. If you are dividing this one, so it is coming how much? 0 0.1 Two, uh, no, no, no. It is coming 0 0.126 into 10 power 13 second. Now, if you are putting 14, this is 14 itself. Now you are putting in the scientific form 1.26 into 10 power 13 second. This is the T half. So half life is this one. Can you check this? Yes. Sir. Understood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let us do one more problem. Question they are talking. This is example 4.8. <clears throat> so that in the first order reaction, time required to complete 99.9% is 10 time of the half life of that is half life, that is T half of the reaction. So here you see. Mm -hmm. If I will write that is K is equal to uh, T half is equal to what is there? T half is equal to 0 0.693 upon K. Right. So if I will write yes. K is equal to 0 0.693 upon it is the T1 by 2. This is equation number 1. Okay. Another thing. T 99.9% .9 is equal to what is there? Uh, if I will write. 2.303 upon this is going to be k and then hmm. better you write the this term here k is equal to another k is equal to t 99.9 percent .9 into this is going to be log initial concentration Initial concentration must be 100 upon initial concentration must be 100 upon remaining when percentage given when percentage given then what is there then R not is equal to R not is equal to always 100 and R is equal to R is equal to 100 minus 100 minus of 100 percent 100 minus percentage of 100 100 minus what we can write 100 minus remaining concentration 100 minus percentage of 100 percentage percentage of 100 this is little bit tricky one this is what the final concentration means remaining concentration r e m a i n i n g remaining concentration so remaining concentration, what will be there? 100 minus 100 of 99.9 upon 100. This 100, 100 cancel out. So 100 minus 99.9. .9. So how much will come, Sanoy? Can you tell me? 0 0.01. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. 0 0.1 only. So here we are writing 0 0.1. So this is the percentage given means this way. So here I am writing 0 0.1. Now see the value. K is equal to 2.303 upon T 99.9 .9 equal to what will be log 
1000 yes or no k is equal to 2.303 upon t 99.9 .9. here multiply sign log it will be the 10 power 3 so do you know sanoy log a power n is equal to n log a yes or no yes log 10 is equal to 1 so k is equal to 2.303 upon t 99.9 .9, 3 log 10 3 log 10 means what sanoy 3 log 10 so k is equal to log 10 value 1 2.303 upon t this is 99.9 .9, multiply by 3 so now this equation is going to be 2 and uh, this equation is going to be 1 already we have considered so divide 1 and 2 divide equation 2 by 1 so 2 by 1 so this is the k is equal to 2.303 upon t 99.9 .9, multiply by 3 again this is k equal to 0 0.693 divided by t 1 by 2 so what will happen sanoy this k and k is going to be cancelled out if the two terms are cancelled out so what we can do the k 1 is equal to 2.303 multiply by 3 multiply okay i'll i'll give i'll give wait 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 t 99.9 multiply by 0 0.693 so if you divide this total term so 1 is equal to if you multiply so 3 3 are 9 0 9 6 6 9 divided by what 0 0.693 and numerator t 1 by 2 denominator t 99.9 .9. so this is absolutely how many times 10 times okay approximately 10 times so what will be happening t 99.9 .9 is equal to 10 times t 1 by 2 so you are this answer came where you are talking about where this is more that do one second check 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 slowly no problem tomorrow is there your school is there no sir but my school is there tomorrow <laughs> Study the like it's an extra thing. Travel here too much hot heat. Yes, that is why. Mm -hmm. Up till 20. There was scroll up some more So you can scroll up what, sir. I want to see what is in bottom. The bottom. Uh, check that. Done. 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 Uh, final. Final. Understood. Final. Yes, sir.
Okay, if you understood, that is good. Can you solve one more problem here? Index one four point five. Index four point five. See, a first order reaction has rate constant this one. How long will five gram of this reaction reactant takes to reduce three gram? So R not they have given five gram. R they have given three gram. Three gram, and they are T they are asking. K they have given 1.15 into 10 power minus 3 second inverse. So T is equal to 2.303 upon K log initial concentration upon final concentration. So dear Sanaji, see 2.303 upon K value 1.15 into 10 power minus 3 uh, log Second will go in the numerator, so it will come second. Log R naught, this is 5 upon 3. Now, see what will be there 2.303 upon multiply by 10 power 3 divided by 1.15. Log A by B is equal to log A minus log B, log 5 minus log 3. This becomes now a log 5 value. Either you solve or you just memorize the log 5 value. How much log 5 value, Sanay? Log 5 value also you can calculate now. Log uh, 10 by 2. So log 10 minus log 2. Log 10 minus log 2. So log 10 value, how much is 0? Uh, that is 1 minus log 0 0.3010. So it will come 0 0.7. So this is coming 2.303 upon 1.15 uh, multiply by this one log 5 value 0 0.7 log 3 value 0 0.47 log 3 value you can check log 3 value uh, 0 0.47 correct uh, yeah yeah correct 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 so you can solve this one 2.303 multiply by 10 power 3 1.15 and here if you subtract uh, this is 0.7 minus 0 0.47, 0 0.23, 0 0.23. So what is going to be 2303 multiply by 23 divided by 115, all the decimal out. So 2303 multiply by 23 divided by 115. 460 is coming. 460 point six second this is time can you check the answer it will be there in the end of the uh, here let me check if i uh, not there so here seconds. how much there sana how much 444 okay round figure okay i have taken the round figure only everywhere because the this one 477 is there. 477. And this value also I am not taken very accurate. So this is what the method only. Okay. So now if you last question already we have done this one. This one already we have done uh, 10 times this one. Okay. 10 times. Yes, this is the first order. Calculate the rate constant. The time required to associate half of its initial time. Half of its initial time is 60 minutes. So T1 by 2 is equal to 60 minutes they are talking. If the decomposition is first order reaction, calculate the rate constant. So K is equal to what is there? 0 0.693 upon T1 by 2. So what is there? 0 0.693 upon 60. So what will come? 0 0.693 upon 60. So it is going to be 0 0.0115. This is the second inverse. No, 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 minute inverse. Can you check the answer of this one? Minute inverse. This is the index problem. Index 4.6. 
either it may be given 1.15 into 10 power minus 2 minute inverse. Can you find out? So given 1.925 10 power minus 4 second inverse. 10 power minus 4. How? Second the... inverse. Acha, second, na. but here the, we are calculating in minute. Na. This is the minute. So I have calculated minute. If you want to calculate in second, so what we will be able to do this one? So in second, in second. I am calculating in second 0 0.693 upon 60 into 60. So whatever the value is coming again divided by 60. So it will come, it is coming 0 0.0001925. So this value is going to be 1.925 and into 10 power minus 4 second inverse. Now is it okay? Tell ya. Um, yeah, yes. Now answer is coming like. Okay. Now, yeah, now here the first order reaction in gas phase will be dealing you tomorrow. You are having math class, na? No, sir. Tomorrow not having. When when ma? Tomorrow, but I have eleventh and twelfth offline class, so I may not take. So. On the basis of this one, you solve the problem. If I will have time, I will inform you. And then we will con complete this one. First order reaction in gas phase. Tomorrow, tomorrow only half an hour I am not free. From, from 9 to 9.30, I will not be free. Uh, after that, I will be free. Okay. Online. But I have to check my timing also now. You check your timing, sir. Then you, if, you are, if possible, sir, you then kindly confirm the timing. Okay, okay. Now the most of the portion we have covered, you try to solve the problem on first order reaction, except the gas phase. Gas phase I did not, not discuss. Maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow I will discuss this one. So more than half of this chapter is over. Only one, two lecture more required, then it will be over. Okay. So okay. Okay. See, see you tomorrow, right? Okay.